HR was trying to get rid of me. So I did everything by the book, like totally. Because it's like, you know, I found out that they were, you know, Kevin, when he went on a ride along with me, he was, you know, kind of nitpicky about certain things and I'd have to remind him, I can't carry that computer and different things like that. And I think he knew that, um, I think he went on a, he and his boyfriend, or I don't know if they got married or not, I can't remember. Um, they were out of town, but Kevin was, you know, he wanted me to do all these things that were really just for him to knock off a couple things, but I had to drive clear up to Snohomish, and it was like right before a holiday weekend, I think. I can't remember. And that's when, um, and I'd been sick before. I mean, like that was during the wildfire season. And that was the week that, uh, you know, I was really congested. You know, everybody was on the call with me, and I knew that I was sick. And Kevin did too, but he would not return my calls. And he said he was out of town. Uh, and that's why I did everything by the book and recorded everything exact hours, because I figured they were tracking me on GPS and stuff, the way they were acting. And you couldn't so put I in a sick day, right? You told you not to put in, put in half a sick day or something, because they to fill up your hours? Because if you're sick, I mean, I don't think they can say you cannot um, right, call out sick. Right, but Kevin specifically said no one gets to take any sick days without prior approval. And he wouldn't answer my calls when I was trying to get home because I guess he was up in Canada. Uh, like, did you try reaching out to like, like um, I'm not sure, was there like a takeover manager? I know that sometimes if a manager leaves, I mean, in terms of on vacation, he's like, oh, contact Nathan or something or someone. Yeah, no, um, yeah, usually he will do that if he's gone, gone, like when his mom's funeral and stuff like that was. But with this, he was, uh, I think he, he left early. I think he was like he was trying to get a bigger weekend in. And that was, uh, I think he just kind of cruised out. He was out of range. So he didn't inform in the team. He just, like, you know, left earlier um, yeah. during the week. And then you were still trying to reach him. And then, um, so like, how, how under were you on your time card? Like, was it like, you know? I think it was like five hours or something. Anyway, <laughs> Rebecca, I called and told her, you know, because I was wondering what, you know, to do. And she goes, you know, she goes, you know, when I found out that I was on the third strike kind of thing, uh, that she said that uh, she was at the three strikes, but Kevin came to her rescue. And she, it was no problem. So I kind of thought it would be no big deal. And Kevin was hoping that, but he told me, he goes, Donna, he even told me, I wish you would have faked your hours. And I go, well, I just feel like during this that they were watching everything I do. So I did everything by the book. I love the guy that became a trainer. What's his name? Eric Hall. Yes, yes, he was... And I'm like, listen, Eric, I go, uh, didn't Kevin tell you that, you know, I can't carry? Because, you know, he was kind of marking me down for, you know, sometimes or asking him to hold it, you know, when we were walking alt. And he even told me a couple times that some of the things that Kevin, you know, to kind of like make it so that he made his numbers, you know, and got enough people, you know, especially people who were like streaming or, you know, they were, um, I, I can't even remember. It's BBL, been so right. long. What's that? Oh, it was BBL, right? Yeah. So anyway, he, uh, when I was out with Eric, he was like saying, um, I got to tell you, Donna, he goes, you, you seem like you've changed. I go, yeah, I went out with Kevin. He told me to change these things. And he goes, uh, Donna, you need to go back to what you were taught. <laughs> you know, you need to go back to your old script. And I said, well, here's what I was doing. Here's what Kevin told me not to do. And he goes, um, Kevin should not have told you some of these things. Like what? Because I know that um, well, when I was there, Kevin's like, don't sign any broadband only. Like, don't sign exactly. any BBOs. Exactly. And that was a couple of them. And he goes, Donna, you can't do that. You have to take the ones that they, you know. And I'm like, well, you know, I know that, you know, Kevin, you know, doesn't want those. And, you know, so... Uh, and he's like, well, that doesn't matter. That's not, you know, we're still a research company. And I'm like, okay, then I could have signed a lot more. Like, does he tell you, like, don't sign any? Because, like, he told me, like, several times um, not to sign any BBOs. Uh, even when I worked there and also when I returned um, for swatting there, um, he told uh -huh. me that. Like, did he specifically tell you just don't sign any BBOs or 
as well? Yeah, there were times when he's like, you know, I can't, or he'd preface it by like, please, you know, he'd tell the whole team, he goes, we really need these, not those. Yeah. And he said, I can't, you know, but yeah, he had said the same thing to Diane a couple times when Diane said, you know, listen, I know you don't want me to, but you know, sometimes that's the only thing up here. And there were several, you can ask Diane, she could tell you probably an earful because there's a lot she could assign, but she didn't because he didn't want it. Early on, Frank, I discovered that, and this is just my opinion, you know, you don't have to agree with me, but Kevin was very dishonest. He was so dishonest, and I caught on to that right away. And I even, you know, confronted him, which, um, for me, Kevin lies. Kevin, you can look at him and call him on something that you know happened, and he will continue to lie in your face. That's one thing I found out. For instance, if you had, like, if you got signs and then you had people that backed out, Kevin would hold them until he wanted to take them away from you. So if you had a really good month and you were going to make some good commission, he would take those um, signs that had, had changed their mind out that month, so then you wouldn't get commission. Do you recall what Kevin told you about BBO homes? What are BBO homes? Uh, broadband only homes, like the alternates for broadband only. Did he tell you anything specific? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. He discouraged me from signing homes like that. You know, because, uh, you know, I have to believe things are a lot different at Nelson now because, you know, broadband is huge. But when, when I was working there, and, you know, you just want to sign, right, Frank? I don't care if they, they're just broadband or whatever. He always discouraged me, always discouraged me from signing a home that was um, just streaming or, or broadband. I can tell you that I know that I was laid off. I know that Donna was fired or I was fired. I know Anthony was fired. And the thing is, is do you remember Jody? Yeah, I heard she was fired. Frank? Do you know that he fought to get her job back? Didn't she do something with the size one? Do you know one? why she got fired? The size one? She do you said... know why she got fired? Why? She was, oh my God, I heard this from all the installers. She was, she was making up shit left and right on her signs. That is why she was getting five a week. I heard she was putting uh, that's, homes that's as what, size ones, even though they're not one person households. Like if it's the like, uh, more than one person, she put it as one person. What she was doing, she was doing. If if the the people had a son there under the age of thirty five, she was putting them as head of household mm -hmm. instead of the people that own the house. So she would put the wrong age, so it's under thirty five, mm -hmm. which would benefit Correct. the company. Correct. So see, she company. was she was signing a house that had an older couple as the owners of the home, but she would put the son down as the head of household because he was under 35. Did Kevin or managers know about that? Well, they were informed of that by um, the installers. Because see, one thing that Jody, and see, I don't know why people are so stupid. I knew from the very beginning that our signs were verified by the installers. Now, there were some installers that didn't care. <laughs> But there were some installers that were really good about being thorough, about getting all that information all over again, Frank. They had to do the whole interview process all over when they would go and install the equipment. That's how they found out about Jody. And I mean, there were multiple installers that complained about her. Do you know he fought to get her job back? That just blows me away. Did she get her job back? So dishonest. No. They would, they refused to, but he went to bat for her. Mm -hmm. We didn't know for two weeks that she was fired. I noticed that she wasn't on the call, Frank. <laughs> and for me, I always asked, I'm like, why isn't Joey on the call? Oh, she's taking a week off. Well, a week later, we find out she was fired two weeks ago. Yeah. He tried to give her job back. Like, what else did he do? Me, that told me how dishonest he was. Like, what else did he do um, that you recall? Uh, oh, God, there was so much he did to me. I didn't care for Kevin at all. He always lied. And for me, that was a huge issue.